Hello, welcome to Sleepy Squid. My name is Lawrence and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to actually set up your bot on a AWS server. Um, there's been a lot of confusion on this, especially with beginners on how to actually do this. So I'm just going to go through step by step on how to actually create a server and install your bot on there. So if you don't have an account yet, create an account. Um, and when you have an account, just sign in. So I'm going to sign in right now. Okay, so once you sign in, this is going to be your main dashboard area. So what we want to do is actually scroll down and click on launch a virtual machine. Now this will actually bring you to a step-by-step -step, um, kind of like walkthrough of like what kind of server you want to, you want to launch. Um, usually you'd want to launch a Windows server. So just type in Windows and click search. And this will list out all of the different options you have. Um, so these are just different um, OS's that will be launched on the server. So I would just click the first one. So Microsoft Windows Server 2019, 64-bit. Um, that seems to be a good bet. Um, and you'll sometimes see free tier eligible, but we'll, we probably won't be doing the free tier since we need something with better specs. So now at this point, it's going to prompt you to actually select the instance type that you want. So how much memory you want this uh, virtual server to have and how much CPUs you want to have. So since we are going to be installing Nike ShoeBot as, as an example bot on the server, if we go to the documentation, now each bot might be different, but for Nike ShoeBot, they recommend a minimum spec of four um, gigs of RAM and two core CPUs or six gigs of RAM and four core CPUs. So we're going to go with this recommended spec here um, and look for a machine that supports that. So if we scroll down, we see this one is eight, but only two uh, C core CPUs. So if we scroll down some more, let's see. So we have one, we can just go with this one. This one has 16 gigs of RAM and four core CPUs. So we'll click that one. Um, and depending on your needs, you could, you could go up with a beefier machine or you could just stick with like the basics. Um, and there, there's plenty of options too. And each of them has different pricing plans that you can read about. Um, by just searching for pricings. So let's just click on next configure instance. Um, most of this can most of this can just stay the same. You don't really need to touch too much of this. Uh, add storage. That looks good. Add tags. That looks good. Configure security groups. Um, that looks good. Review and launch. So once we launch this, now at this point, it'll prompt you to um, either create a, a key pair. So this is just pretty much like if you want to um, connect to the machine using SSH from the terminal or other means. So let's just create a, a key pair. And let's just say sneaker bot server. And you just click download key pair. So now that will download. And now I'll click launch instances. And this might take a few seconds, um, but once it's done, you can click view instances. And now it's it's pending, so just give that a few seconds. And once it's done, we'll, we'll actually connect to it. Okay, so now that it's done setting up our server, we'll see it says running here. Um, the next step will be to actually connect to the server. So first what we want to do is copy the IP address somewhere. So I'm just going to put in my notes here and then we'll go back. And the next thing is to actually get the password and the username that we need to connect to the server. So if you just click on connect right above it, first you want to make sure you, do, you select the server just in case you have multiple ones. So just select the server and click connect and you'll see it says get password. The username is administrator and we just want to get the password. So if you click get password, um, if you remember in the previous step when we we're creating the server, we had to create this PEM file, which is the, the, the key, the key pair. So what we want to do is before we can actually see the password, we actually have to import that file. So click choose file. And I just moved my file to the desktop. Um, just try to find where you actually had that file. It'll probably be in your downloads maybe. So just click on the file 
click open. And what this will do is it'll actually import the key. And the key is just like a, a randomly generated set of uh, values. And this, it'll, this will be used to actually decrypt the password. So click on decrypt password. And now you see the actual password. So what we're gonna do is copy over the username and the password. So we'll copy this username and the password. And we'll use this to connect to the server. Okay. So now what we want to do is actually connect to the server. So if you're on, on a Mac, you actually have to download uh, an application called Microsoft Remote Desktop. If you don't already have that, just go to the App Store and just type in um, Remote Desktop and just click on Desktop 10. It should be like the only option that comes up. Um, so just download this app. And if you're on Windows, you you don't you probably don't need that because it's already built into um, Windows by default. And I will post a, a link in the description, which just runs you through like how to actually set up or connect to the server if you're on Windows. So let's go to the app. So let's open up Microsoft Remote Desktop. And what we want to do is we want to add a new PC. So add PC, and you'll see it, it'll ask you for the PC name, which is just the IP address. So what we want to do is copy the IP, paste this in there, I'm going to move this over to the side, and then it'll, it says that it needs a user account. So the user account will be like the, the username and the password that we need. So we just click on that, and we're going to add a new user account. And these steps will probably be the same for Windows as well. You need a username and password to connect to your server. So our username is administrator. So let's copy that. And our password, this long password here. And we can just show password just to double check. Looks right. And we can give it a friendly name. I'll we'll just say admin or I just say AWS admin and click add. Okay, so now that we have that connected here, uh, what we want to do is we can save this. I'm going to just save this to this group and then click Add. So this will create that con that um, uh, an, a connection for us. So what we want to do is just double tap on that. And this will try to use those credentials to connect to the PC for us. Okay. So now it is connected to a Windows virtual machine. And you'll see it'll tell you the host name. We have 16 gigs of RAM and all that stuff. And we can just double check by um, opening the file explorer. Let's just right click and go to properties just to see our system specs. So we, we have 16 gigs of RAM and 2.4 gigahertz of CPU. So that looks good. Okay, so now we've successfully connected to our Windows server running on AWS. The next step would be to actually install the bot on the computer. Um, so by default for Windows um, servers, you'll only have the Internet Explorer browser. Um, I don't really like using Internet Explorer, so we're gonna try to install Google Chrome. But one thing we'll have to do is actually turn off the security um, restrictions on Internet Explorer because we won't be able to download Google Chrome without doing that. So let's close this real quick and just search for um, server manager. So open up server manager and we want to configure this local server. So if you click on that, you'll see on the right here it says IE enhanced security configurations. So we want to actually turn that off for administrators. So click OK. And we can close this. And then now if we open up Internet Explorer, we'll be able to search for Google Chrome. And we're going to download now. So click on download. We'll uncheck that accept and install and we want to actually run this so we get this a few seconds 
Okay, so now that we have Google Chrome installed, we'll just open that up. And what you wanna do is just go to the email where the download link for your bot was sent to. I've already copied over the direct download link, so I'm just gonna paste that in and download the Nike Shoe Bot. So now that I have that downloaded, I'm going to, well, when that finishes, I'm just gonna double click to launch that installation. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our bots installer downloaded, we just double click on it to run it. Uh, you might get prompted um, by Windows, you know, trying to prevent you from installing this. Um, what you wanna do is just click on more info and just run anyway. And that's just a security um, precaution to just prevent you from installing untrusted software on your on your Windows server. But since we know that we intentionally installed the, we want to install this bot on it. It's okay. So we've successfully installed our bot on it, and now you can just start using it how you would use it on any other computer. You just open it up, put your whatever activation credentials you need, and you're good to go. So that pretty much concludes the video. Um, we've covered how to actually create an AWS server and actually connect to it remotely and successfully installed our bot on the computer. If you have any confusions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will be posting more helpful videos like this throughout my channel. So if you haven't done so already, I would suggest subscribing and putting on your push notifications so that way you get notified each time I put up a new video. All right, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.